1966 Bedford CA. This is the 1.5 litre petrol, three speed manual in blue. Very, very pretty looking van, this one. First registered in the country. It's right hand drive. It came in from Malta in 2012. Sorry, 2010. It was registered in 2012. It was then under, underwent some work, uh, a full respray in its original colour and a retrim. Ready, ready for the shows, this one, ready for a bit of sign writing to be put to work, that's for sure. Very, very pretty van with the sliding doors. Body work wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we'll go for a cold engine start up. Moving straight across the Scotland, especially for commercial, commercial stuff tends to get away with a bit more sort of rougher paint, if that makes sense. But this one's really, really nice and shiny. Lovely and clean and tidy down here. A few little marks there. Across the bonnet itself, all nice and straight. A few little surface scratches where it's been washed over the years. And the odd little imperfection in the paint. Very, very pretty though. Across the front there, across the nose cone. You got a few little bits in the paint. We've got a few little marks there. A little bit of a crack in the paint there on the very front. Down the grill, onto the sides there. You can see all nice and shiny. Bumpers are in lovely condition. No dings or dents in there. A few little stone chips across the front there. But nothing really too to be concerned about. The headlamps are a little bit... A little bit hazy, lower indicator is all nice and clear. Lovely and straight as well as you can see. As we come down the right hand side, around the wheel arch, nice and tidy around the arch. That sort of front section is lovely and flat. And lovely and straight down both sides. You can see that there, the camera's clearly picking that up. Painted steels all the way around with the chrome hubcaps. A little bit of a chip in the paint there on the front arch, but all nice and presentable, lovely and straight down the door. You can see that there. Nice amount of paint on it as well. No problems on the lower half of the door. I have got a scratch that's been touched in here on the door, on the drivers, but you know, a couple of steps back and it's not noticeable at all. Lovely and tidy across all of the body lines. Windows are all nice and clear. Sliding, sliding windows as well, which is lovely. And the sliding doors. As we come down onto the rear van panel sides, lovely and straight down both sides here. You'll see we've got some PPF tape on both sides here to stop the doors from scratching the paper. You can see it's doing its job there. Got a couple of scratches on the PPF and a little bit has gone through. But it is doing its job. You can clearly see that there. Lovely and flat down this side. A good reflection to it. A few little bits and pieces in the paint. But like I say, with it being a commercial, they're not even normally to this sort of standard. And a few little marks behind this sort of sign written panel here. There's a few bits on there. Can you see that there? So good with the doors back as well. Sign that for sure. Which is lovely. So we come round the rear, lovely and tidy down all the body lines. You can see how straight it is down that side, a really, really nice colour. Bottoms are nice and tidy across the rear there. All the light lenses are good on the rear. No cracks in those, lovely and straight down all the, it's got so many lines on it, lovely and straight down those rear doors there. No rust coming through in the bottom half section there. We've got a little bit of a chip out the door here on the left hand side, but apart from that, lovely and fresh across the rear doors and around the hinges. And again, another little, two little chips out of the, the hint, out the door there where it's been touched in. Again, not noticeable at all, but if we notice and we do point everything out, lovely and fresh across the rear there. Let's come around and down the left-hand side again, lovely and straight down that left-hand side. We'll do the top half section first again, lovely and tidy down there. Here's a few little marks underneath the paint on the left-hand side again, a few little bits there. But that is your sign written sort of section that you would have sign written. So ready for work this one, lovely and straight down that rear left hand side, around the arch, again nice and tidy with the PPF on this side as well, you can clearly see that there, it goes all the way along just to stop the, where the door slides, it protects the paint a little bit underneath, no nasty marks around the um, fuel filler cap, I can get your words out there, and again lovely and straight, painted steels all the way around with the hub caps. Lovely and fresh on there, but there's odd little imperfection in the paint. If you really, really study it with your nose against it, you will notice these bits and pieces. But 1966, remember, lovely and fresh. And then all the restoration with it being painted some 10 years ago, sort of credit to the painter, really. And the prep, lovely and fresh on that left hand side door. A little bit of a scratch there with a the scuff, really. I think the polish would square that off. Nice and tidy up the doors and around the handle. No heavy scratching once again. And around this front arch, we've got a few little bits just starting to come through. Very, very minor. Again, hardly noticeable at all on that front wing. And a lovely and straight 
down that whole left hand side. Both doors side and back as they should. Look so cool with the doors open. Right, on to the interior now. Fully painted on the inside as well. Lovely and tidy in there. You've got the big rubber mat. Lovely, lovely driver's seat trick. No wear, no rips or tears at all to that. Painted dashboard. Dials are nice and clear. Easy to be read there. I was told it was a bread van in Malta. Lovely engine colour, sort of diamond quilt. Matches the rest of the seats. Sort of finishing touches are really good. The attention to detail is lovely on this one. You can have a good inside there, but we'll go up the back doors. I see all the doors working as they should. Into the back now. Here in the backs of the doors. Lovely and tidy in there. Onto the left door as well. Lovely and fresh in there. Not had a hard life this one if you look in there. Nice wood paneling all the way throughout. Lovely and tidy on the headlining. On the head, sorry, not headlining, well, the painted roof anyway. And the inside, all being painted all at the same time as well. Don't have to slam anything closed either. I think just sort of shuts as it should. Come back down the left hand side. Sort of a seat and a half on the left hand side. Two seats, I would say. A seat and a half, really. Lovely and tidy. Looks really good with the blue on the red again. Rubber mats, nice and clean and tidy. Arches are all good on the inside. See your colour from this side as well. Lovely and fresh, this one. Really, really fresh. Looks good on the road. Pop the bonnet open again. Nothing needs to be forced at all. Everything opens as it should. I'm going to fire it up here. It's a cold startup, so it'll need I reckon about that much choke there. You can see that there. Firing straight into life there. That is ticking over. No nasty noises, no rattles, no smoke. That exhaust comes out here. Nothing nasty coming out the exhaust. Ticking over, lovely and happy that. No problems whatsoever with that one. Ticking over, nice and happy there. Nice and smooth with a little bit of choke. Put the bonnet back down. Like that. There you have it, the 1966 Bedford CA, 1500 petrol, three speed manual on the stalk, in lovely blue with that lovely red interior. Ready to be enjoyed that one, it's a perfect nip down the local shop that car and then down to your local show. You'll be quite happy to put that on a field.